What is going on everybody? It is Tuesday, December 26th. Welcome to the DK Oldies live stream. I hope everybody had an awesome Christmas. Let me see if I can get this turned around. What's going on there? Hope you all had an awesome Christmas. I did as well. Got some fun stuff lined up for today's stream. Gonna be packing up some orders live right here on stream. I think that's so much fun to do. Plus, gonna be reading some letters that some fans sent in and we're gonna be opening up a new collection that came into the shop. I love getting to do that also. All right, let me spin this camera around and we'll get the show on the road. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. What's going on from Scotland? Ham, how you doing? Thanks for sharing, Raymond. Appreciate it. Hi, Jacob. Glance out here on the shipping floor. Okay. Got a bunch to do today, so let's just jump right into it. I'm going to be packing up an order live right here. Uh, I got this one that came in from Tyler. He posted on TikTok. Please do my order. These were my favorites in my childhood. All right, Tyler, let's ship out your order. Let's see what we're getting here, Tyler. Starting off with a complete version of SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, and we also have a PS2, just a disc-only game. Let's start off with this complete version, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. That's here at our PS2 wall. Happen to be nice and close to it. Down here at the end for WWF, which is where we're going to be. WWE. All right, let's find it. SmackDown vs. Raw. 2011. First pull was a nice easy one. These wrestling games are great. All right, let's bring this one back to the table. Thank you for tuning in. What's going on, Will? Thanks for sharing, Kyle. And we also have Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem disc only, the game only version of the PS2. Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. That's going to be down this way where we keep the disc only games. Love the live feeds. Always interesting. Appreciate it, Christopher. Happy Tuesday indeed, Eric. Here's the disc only area. I already see PS2 right here. So just gonna look alphabetically. We're looking for S for SpongeBob down here are the M's. Here we go. Here are the S's. Sing Star. Sled. Snowcross. Let's keep going. Sonic. Spider-Man. We're getting close to SpongeBob. Not yet. We're still Splinter Cell. Spy Hunter. Spy Row. Okay, wait. Here's SpongeBob. Atlantis Square Pantis. I'm looking for what? Mystery Mayhem? Creature from the Krusty Krab. Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Sprint Cars. I'm not seeing this one right here. I know it's in here. Let me see if I can get some help finding this one. I'm going to jump to, I've got a second order I'm packing up to. Let's double check that one. I love SpongeBob. Tyler, me too. I remember watching the cartoons all the time. All right, let's continue on. Got this one here from Fernando. Can you do my order in a video? Let's see what we're getting here. Another SpongeBob game. SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge for Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy Advance SP. Platinum with the charger, acceptable system. Let's start off with the console. GBA SP Platinum It's going to be down here. Try looking for Mystery Mayhem. It could be. Could be. That's the thing about doing it live, folks. That's the thing. Okay, over here are SP systems, and here we go. A cosmetically flawed version of the GBA SP. The cosmetically flawed means it might have some scratches here on the top or something like that. Just cosmetic flaws that aren't going to affect how it works. And it save 30% on it. Let's bring that back to the table, and then we'll go find the game. Thank you for sharing, everybody. What's going on, Omar? Thanks for sharing. Thanks, Fernando. Okay, let's bring this back with us while we find the game. SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. Let's head down here. We're going to head past the inventory team. There's the cleaning department. Oh, that's how it should have been. 
because we were allowed to switch um <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. Here we are at the Game Boy Advance games, and again we're doing alphabetical. Spy Kids, Space Invaders, Spirit. I see it right back here. SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge from Scranton, Pennsylvania. What's going on, Samuel? I uh, got it right here. Okay, let's head this back to the table. I'll show you how we pack it up. Scooby-Doo? Is that what it was supposed to be? Did I confuse Spongebob and Scooby-Doo? It wouldn't surprise me. I was dealing with both of these orders. I was grabbing these papers both before the stream. All right, we'll finish that one up as soon as we finish here. That would make sense. That would do it. From Sydney, Australia. What's going on, Blaine? Okay, now that we've got the items, I'm going to show you how we pack this one up. Let's grab the last bit of stuff we need. There's the game for it. There's the system, and there's the charger they're getting as well. We'll just grab a box for this order over here at the shipping department. Here are all the boxes under the tables. And I think this will do us just right. All right, let me show you. Let's bring it back and we'll pack it up. Let me set up the camera here in the tripod. Okay, I'll just tape up the box. Okay. Got the box out, all taped up. Now let's wrap things up in bubble wrap. And the charger. Okay, down into the box. Also have the charger and the game they got. Take their packing slip, that's gonna go into the box. I'll fill it up with packing material and close it up. All right, thanks a lot for that one, Fernando. And let's go back, let's go solve this mystery. We were in the middle of packing up this order right here and sure enough, it is Scooby-Doo mystery mayhem that I'm looking for, not SpongeBob. Let's go find Scooby-Doo. Back to the disc-only PS2 games. You're amazing, do you ship to Europe? What's up, Michael? We sure do, ship worldwide. All right, we'll give Seth a second. Looks like he's working in that area as well. Over here, you can see the inventory team. All right, now let's take a look for this again. Let's see, we were up. You see Scooby-Doo stuff right here? Right, and what am I looking for? Our face, Scooby Doo. Now that we got it, we can bring this one back and ship this one too for you, Tyler. Interesting combo you're getting right here a Scooby Doo game and a wrestling game. I love that. I love when people wind up getting completely different uh, genres of, of games. Okay, this one will ship out in a mailer. Let's go grab that here from the shipping floor. like it's going to be this size right here. We'll grab us one of these. 
These bubble mailers are great. You can see inside, there's already some protective bubble wrap inside. I do need a Scooby snack. Yes, Chris. All right, put that back in the tripod. Double check everything. WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. The complete copy. And a disc-only version of Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. Got that right here. Wrap these up in a little bit of bubble wrap. And into the mailer we got. I'm gonna get the packing slip filled out. That will go inside, get it all sealed up and shipped off. Thanks a lot, Tyler. Okay. All right, let's get the show on the road. We are about to open up this collection. New collection came into the shop. I'm gonna be giving away something that comes out of today's collection. All you have to do is share the post and comment right down there in the chat that you shared. It gets you entered for the giveaway. I'm doing it coming up in just a moment. Also, I wanted to make mention, I got some cool letters today. So let's take a look at this one right here from Eddie in Ohio. Eddie says, Dear Joey, hi, my name is Eddie, super Titanic gamer. I'm a fan of your people. I want to ask you guys something. I was wondering, what was your favorite Legend of Zelda game? My favorite was Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I would played the GameCube and Wii version. I also like the Wii U version. I watched the Wii U version online. I really never had a Wii U version before. If you please put this letter on YouTube, I would be happy. And it looks like you made an attempt at spelling us here. P.S. I messed up the spelling. Well, no problem. <laughs> Appreciate you sending the letter, Eddie. That was awesome. And I thought this one was real cool. This came from Malky, and he's really good at drawing. Check that out. We got a sled with an NES cartridge on it. There's a drawing of Donkey Kong holding the controller. And in his letter right here, that looks like a drawing of me, plus one of the unboxings with all this stuff I open up that comes out of the boxes. If you want to send a letter in, oh, the address is right on our website. I read every single letter that we get. I just love it. I think it's so cool. Thank you guys for sending in your letters. Okay. Let's open up this new game collection. I'm excited to see what's inside. Got it right here. Thank you for sharing, everybody. Thank you, Ryan, Josh, Judy. Weren't those cool drawings? I thought so, too. It's so neat having people send stuff in like that. I've got a little spot on the wall behind my desk where I've hung up some pictures that people have sent in, like drawings of me. I think it's so cool. Um, some NES, uh, N64 stuff we're starting off with. Shadow Man. Cool first pull out of the box with that one. Oh, and Hex in an, another old school shooter, kind of like Doom. Fan mail's awesome. Rich, I agree. I mean, I just feel so, so lucky. So lucky. Um, Army Men game. What's up, Josh? I had an awesome Christmas. Thank you. Nothing too stressful. Family was all kind of local, so got to have some good time with the family. Nightmare Creatures is another neat find. Silent Hill on the PlayStation. Let's see what else? We got some NES stuff down here too. Look at these. Whoops. Mario Duck Hunt. Double cartridge. Comes with Duck Hunt on it also. And Rad Racer. Watching from Ghana. No way, King. What time you got over there? Wow, well-loved version of Turtles. People wonder, you know, where do we get the games where either the label is kind of damaged or something like that? You're seeing it right here. Oh, and Double Dragon. And Mario Bros. I see a few people clamoring over this Silent Hill. This might be a neat one to give away today. I'm going to set that aside. We'll consider that. We're going to be doing this giveaway coming up in just a moment. Let's 
some Genesis games. Yo, check that out. In the case they came in. Uh, watch them from the Fiji Islands. That's cool, Josh. What is this? Space Harrier 2. Art on that is wild. I don't know if I've seen that before. Oh, check this out. Look, this copy of Tetris. Looks like some of the plastic broke off the front. Yeah, it looks like that piece fit right there. It's a copy of Tetris and 3D World Runner. Home Alone 2, no way. And Earthworm Jim. Home Alone might be a neat one for a giveaway too. Beans, it was just Christmas might make for a neat giveaway. I'll set that one aside as well. I'm considering Silent Hill and Home Alone 2 so far. Jet Force Gemini, good one on the 64. A snowboarding game. Washington State, what's going on? And Wave Race. Watching from Ohio, what's going on, Richard? Huge Sega fan, huh? Check that out. A boxed version of Metroid on the NES. Wow, you just don't get to see the boxes too much anymore. They didn't survive. I mean, you even saw what happened to that Tetris cartridge, and that was made out of plastic. Boxes are just made out of cardboard. Wow, some Game Boy Color stuff too. Dragon Warrior 1 and 2. Holy smokes, some Pokemon games. Look at this copy of Pokemon Gold. Beautiful find there. Wave Race is a fun one. I enjoy that one too. Uh, it's Pokemon Silver. Saskatoon, Canada. What's up, Sebastian? Mario Advance. Oh, and Sonic Advance. And Television Completes, Brady. That's a cool find. Uh, looks like we've got some 64 stuff to finish it off. I remember Forsaken. It's kind of a flying game, but it was inside tunnels, not like out in space. I love this one. Uh, Space Station, Silicon Valley, and Hybrid Heaven. Cool stuff in today's collection. Well, I'm considering between these two for the giveaway. What do you guys think? Home Alone 2 or Silent Hill? One's for the PlayStation, one's for the Sega Genesis. Let me know in the chat, guys. Type down there, Home Alone or Silent Hill. I'd like to see what most of you are interested in getting. Silent Hill or Home Alone? I'll give you a moment. Let's take a glance at what's going out here on the floor while I wait. I see Dan saying Home Alone. Brady, Justin, Matthew all going Silent Hill. Glance here out on the shipping floor. We got boxes getting packed up over here. Double checked over here as well. I see some bongos over on the card over there. That's cool. All right, let's do our giveaway. This was a bit of a close one. I do have to say, though, I feel like I saw a few more people suggesting Silent Hill. So, Silent Hill for the PlayStation is today's giveaway. Let me show you how we're going to do it. All right, we got some names, six names of contestants for today's giveaway. Number one is Alfie, Alfie Fox, Kyle James, Brian Settle, AJ Sparkman, Trip Collins, and Aaron Valliere. All right, we got six names. Now, normally I have a wheel to spin, but I'm not seeing my iPad right here. So how could we do this? Maybe I'll go ask somebody for a random number. One through six? Let's try it. I see Tristan down here. I think he'd be a good one to ask. Hey Tristan, quick question for the live stream. I don't have my wheel to spin, so I need you to give me a number one through six to pick our winner. I got six names, I just need a number. One through six. Four. Four! <laughs> nice, Tristan. 
AJ Sparkman. You heard it right there, AJ. Tristan said number four. Congratulations, AJ. You are today's winner. I'm sending this copy of Silent Hill right off to you. AJ, reach out to me right here on Facebook. Email address, shipping address, everything I'm going to need to get Silent Hill sent off to your house. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. I love getting to do these live streams. Well, you see how it goes live. Everything's not 100% smooth. I was looking for a Scooby-Doo game and mistakenly thought it was a SpongeBob game. So spent a few minutes looking for a SpongeBob game. Eh, that happens. We packed up two orders. We read some letters. Plus, we did an unboxing and our giveaway today. All right, I'm wrapping it up. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas.